Okay, guys, I know the lighting in here is not that good. Um, I apologize. This video is going to be about van life, how are we going to do it, and why are we we're going to do it. Well, as a lot of people might have figured out, I do have a little bit of money in my pocket. Um, not a lot. And it was pretty much through a series of unfortunate events. My grandparents passed away a while back. They had some money and properties, and because my mom was already passed away, and I was her only child, <clears throat> it fell back on me. So it's basically between me and my mom's brother, my uncle. And what it is, is right now it's uh, part of a family trust because we had to sell off properties and uh, stuff like that. And then my uncle, who is head of the trust, not me, he uh, went ahead and reinvested the from the sales into the market. And we're almost to the end. This has been going on for like 16 years. It's almost to the end of it, and where I might get one big huge check, but until then, we still have to sell off a couple of LLC companies that my grandfather had. But until then, um, there's enough money there for me to travel if I want to. That's how we're doing van life, and uh, don't get me wrong, you know, um, growing up I never knew, you know, I was going to get money like this. Um, I was raised to work hard. Um, I got a good work, work ethic. Um, before I stopped working about nine, ten months ago, um, I worked pretty much six days a week, ten in the morning, ten o'clock at night. That's when you're a manager in a restaurant or a chef. I don't consider myself a chef. I've been cooking 20 years. People are like, oh, you're a chef. You've been cooking 20 years. You know, anyway, I consider myself a cook, but that's what I did, um, every day, you know, six days a week, one day off. So it's not like I'm some trust fund kid that got a lot of money. Well, actually I did get a lot of money, but besides that, I, I worked really hard and finally, you know, like I said, through a series of unfortunate events, we were able to travel. Now, could I go out and get me, uh, get us a big, huge class A and blah, 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 or do a schoolie conversion and all that stuff? That's not really living minimalistic, you know, and I'm trying to make this money last. I mean, granted, it's not a million fucking dollars, but it's enough to go on the road for an extended period of time and see the United States and... This is not my wife's goal, but it's my goal, is to get down to South America and into Colombia. Um, mainly because everybody's like, oh, Colombia's not safe, they got blah, blah, blah. And do some more research, fellas. Um, it, it's pretty safe right now, and I'd like to get a farm down there. And, you know... And it's not like the United States down there. People are really warm and welcoming here, especially in Wichita. People will give you dirty looks, just turn around the corner, you know. But anyway. So that's how we're doing about van life. And like I said, I could have gone out and bought me a Class A, bought me a brand new Class B camper van, you know, on a Sprinter chassis or done a conversion or something like that. Nah, it's about not spending that much money and going minimalistic, you know. I bought my camper van, I'll be honest, for $10,000. And, yeah, I probably could have paid less. I should have talked them down, but it was the first thing I found. And come to find out, they're kind of a rarity. Because uh, Honor Belt's not around anymore. Um, and they're from Kansas, you know. It was a RV manufacturer here in Kansas, so. Kind of rarity. But, <clears throat> now why are we going to do van life? Well, like I said, both me and my wife, uh, we're working six days a week. Hardly ever get to see each other. Um, 
never really got to explore, go on these mini vacations. You don't in the restaurant industry. You work all the freaking time. So, that's why we're doing it. Um, have we traveled before? Yeah. We go to Oklahoma. We've been to freaking Kansas City, Missouri. We've been to Denver like three times. Been to Colorado Springs. Don't like that place. Um, when I was younger, I've been to Carlsbad, Carlsbad Caverns. Um, been to Salt Lake. Um, I've been to Washington State before. Um, I spent a summer there when I was younger. My wife, um, she's flown in there and then flown out to Canada. Her dad used to work in Canada when she was growing up. Um, I've been to Canada. I've been to Vancouver. Um, van life is a big thing up there. I don't know if you guys watch Justin Incredible TV, but um, he's up there and I kind of... He's in a closed van life group on Facebook too. You can actually sit there and talk to him. And you can talk to other people on that group like uh, uh, Venture in a Backpack. They're on there too. Uh, a couple other people that have YouTube channels. So that's why we're doing it. Will I ever monetize this channel? Me or my wife monetize? No. Um, we're not doing this for money. It's kind of to give back to the RV community, van community, maybe share knowledge with people that are just starting it out. Um, right now, um, our lease is up March 31st, and we're still working on downsizing. We've lived in this, this apartment for eight years, and We've been together almost 17 years and we've accumulated a bunch of crap that you don't need. We don't need it. Most of the stuff we're gonna try to give away to charity. Um, maybe sell a couple of items on Craigslist. Um, we are planning right now, I have the money to do it. Uh, we're gonna plan, we're gonna take our truck with us as a fall vehicle. That way if we go to an RV park or a campground we want to explore the area, we can leave the van there and take our truck with us. Um, a couple of people have asked, what are you going to do with your Monte Carlo? That's my daily driver. I have an 03 Monte Carlo SS Limited. Well, um, I'm still looking at options. I, for a couple of weeks here, I've been thinking about selling it. What am I going to get out of it? Probably about 2500 bucks at that at the most. That's what they're selling for around town that I've seen people selling them. Um, I really want to keep it. I like the car. Could I go out and buy me a brand new Camaro? Yeah, but what's the point? We're going to be traveling. We're not going to be stagnant living here in Wichita, Kansas. Um, here we need two cars, especially if we're both working jobs, you know. It's just how it is. On the road, we just need a fall vehicle. That's it. And people are like, well, the gas mileage on two vehicles, I'm not worried about gas. It's going to fluctuate from state to state. I understand that. It's going to be more in this one state, more in another state. But with the amount of money I'm taking with us on the road to start off, I, I'm i not worried about it. It's gas and two vehicles. I fill them both up at the same time at the same damn gas station. I chalk it up to this is how much it's going to cost us to travel here. And then... We're planning, like, we're going to Denver first. We're going to stay there for a little bit. Um, we're going to, I'm looking at um, this Cherry Creek campground in Aurora, Colorado, which is pretty close. And it's like 28 a night, I think, which is still cheaper than paying freaking $83 a night <clears throat> at the Hilton in Stapleton is where we usually stay. That's usually the place in Denver that we stay is in Stapleton. So... You know, still it's going to be cheaper than living here. You know, living stagnant at a place. We're cutting our bills in half. Like, uh, our rent's five sixty a month. What am I going to be paying for rent in a camper van that's already paid off? Just the gas. That's me paying rent right there. Our electric, uh, it's about 200 a month. I'll be putting gas in my generator to power the camper van. 
Um, insurance. Well, we're not going to be driving the Monte Carlo. That goes off the insurance. I'm just going to put it in storage or leave it behind my uncle's shop. You know, his warehouse downtown here in Wichita. Um, we don't have internet. I don't pay for internet. Um, I don't even watch TV that much to really care about it. So, there's a bill. Um, phone bill is $100 a month for two lines, unlimited data through Cricket. And we've taken our phones, traveling all the way down to Georgia and Florida. They work fine. All the way down to, uh, or up to Colorado, always work fine. So I'm not worried about it. Um, but our bills will be significantly cut, especially after I pay off our truck, which is $300 every two weeks. Yeah. So I'm cutting the electric, I'm cutting the truck payment, I'm cutting the rent. I think the amount of money that I'm taking on the road to start us off with will be enough. Well, I just wanted to, this video is getting long and I'm rambling, so I'll cut it off here. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, probably next video I'll do is going to be about downsizing and getting rid of all of our stuff and getting ready to go into the van. Um, we leave first part of April. Like I said, our lease is up March 31st, then we're on the road. Hope everybody's doing good. I'll talk to you later.